Okay, you guys, let's do a guide on our continuous random variables with a uniform distribution. Okay, so it says going to the DMV is the worst, standing in line, shuffling from room to room, and paying a ridiculous amount of money for a sticker. So Jeff has gone many times now to determine that the DMV workers will process his claim at a minimum of 40 minutes and a maximum of 140 minutes with the responses being uniformly distributed. Okay, so we were just given everything that we needed. We know that our min, uh, we can say that A is going to equal, uh, oh, what did we say, 40. And our maximum B is going to be equal to 140. Okay, fantastic. So now we've got this probability question. What's the probability that he's going to wait between 64 uh, minutes and 75 minutes? Okay, so let's go ahead and use some of our tools. Let's go to basic statistics. Let's go to random variables and continuous. And at the bottom, we've got, oops, sorry, we've got uniform. And we can go to uniform probabilities. Or, you know what, let's plot this thing first. So we'll have our minimum be 40 and our maximum be 140. And when we click OK, we are going to get the world's most boring plot. It's literally a line from 40 to 140. And that's kind of showing our region for where we are interested. OK, so let's go ahead and get out of that. And what we're interested in for this particular question is being between uh, that's 64 and 75 or kind of like right here 64 to 75 and if i just had to make a ballpark guess just from kind of looking at that i'd probably guess like i don't know 10 percent or something let's actually go plot it one more time and we'll go plot it from 64 to 75. and let's make a choose a happier color than gray and we'll click ok Oops, that was for the normal distribution. I apologize. Let's go do that again. Basic, random, continuous, and let's shift this over just a little bit so that I can actually get to all of my windows. Here we go. Continuous, and we'll go down to uniform. Plot the uniform. There we go. 64. 75, some better color, and we'll click OK. And so, yeah, I'd guess, I don't know, 10%, something like that. We'll see if that's what we actually get. Okay, in order to do this problem, let's go back to our basic statistics, and once again, down to our uniform, and let's go grab our uniform probabilities. Now, when we do our uniform probabilities here, we still need to give it the minimum and the maximum. And then the variable values. So we can actually put in multiple values. Uh, so I'm going to put in our critical points because I have both 75 and 64. And if you put a comma in, you can just put as many variables as you want. Now the lower tail, what that means is that when we saw the graph, it's going to give you the area from the critical point and to the left, just like our CDF always does. When we click upper tail, it just gives us the area to the right, which is really handy. We use it a lot. But for this one, we're just going to be consistent and going to the left on both of them. And we'll just click OK. And we get these two values. And let's paste it and subtract the two from each other. And we get yeah, pretty close to 10%. We get 11% for our probability. We can just paste it on in. Okay, the next one, what is the expected time that Jeff should spend there? Okay, so the expected time is really easy. Remember, it's just B minus A divided by 2. Now, since I, laid, I actually established what these variables were inside of my R console, um, I can just type them out. So I can just do B minus A divided by 2, and I get 50. Oh, not B minus A. I apologize. It's going to be B plus A divided by 2. And there is my expected value. Or if I were to go to the DMV over and over again, on average, the time that I spent there would be about 90 minutes. Okay, right, fine. Finally, Jeff's friend asked George, what's the probability that he would spend exactly 52 minutes at the DMV? Or, let's write out that probability statement over here, the probability that the random amount of time equals exactly 52 minutes. 
Now the cool thing about this one is remember that one always equals zero with continuous random variables that uh, anytime we ask in the continuous random variable scenario what is the exact probability of a specific event and it is equal to zero. So just like that we're able to kind of use some of our tools, some of our graphs, some of our um, oh, our probability plots and we can very simply take care of our uniform distribution and let's go ahead and submit and see how we and after submitting we see that yep we in fact got them right so that's how we can handle kind of these basic uniform distributions.